Celtic C won it by two lands. Celtic C, a win full of merit. Celtic C won going away, but Celtic C's going on and won it. Celtic C, the champion, goes on to win. Celtic C scrapes in. Down towards the inside, Celtic C powers home from Run Fox Run. But she's all class in the Scepter Stakes. The Celtic C is the true champion sprinting filly of South Africa. She graced our tracks for four seasons, winning eight graded races, including three grade ones. Celtic C comes good at home. But the time has come, and Celtic C has retired. The captain, L. Sean Terry, for the bet. What a champion for Nishiris. We pay tribute to this wonderful mayor and champion of our turf. One fifty to go, Celtic C by two lands. She wasted no time announcing her arrival on the tracks by winning the Grade 3 Pretty Polly Stakes and the Grade 2 Golden Slipper as a two-year-old. Celtic C, a win full of merit from Missouri. What a great privilege um, to have these colours um, in my yard. Colours that belong to one of the pioneers of the modern South African wine and horse racing industries, Graham Beck. The famous brown and white were carried to victory by many a champion. When I was a little guy watching racing, obviously uh, these were legends, colours and uh, you know, I'm just very thankful and grateful that I, I have been given the support. In 2017, Graham's son Anthony approached Sean Terry. I was asked by Anthony Beck to find him a few horses at, at sale. It was the 2017 Empress Palace National Yearling Sale at Germiston in Gauteng. Celtic Sea was shortlisted with a Valfilly that sold for five million. We didn't even get a look in there. Celtic Sea was uh, a bargain buy and the rest is history. She did show ability from the start. Um, it's hard to say she didn't have big match temperament. Um, but early on in the career, things in a race could have upset her early if she was um, inconvenienced or her stride was broken, which happened quite a few times. Her we getting beaten in races, she should have won. Once we fitted her with the blinkers, it, it sorted a few things out. But her ability's never been in doubt and she's never let us down from the moment she started delivering the goods consistently. With nearly 700,000 rand in stakes to her name, Celtic C headed into her three-year-old career. She took on the Colts in the Grade 3 Tony Ruffle Stakes in January 2019. Celtic C's on there inside. It was quite a run, seeing her finish less than a length and a half behind one of Silvano's most successful sons and now UK-based Hawam. Several months later, she travelled down to KZN for the winter season. Celtic Sea's coming to get them all, and here's Celtic Sea exploding into action. Celtic Sea won going away. You know, I, I think she's a super, super filly. I think it's uh, the sky's the limit. Uh, she's a fantastic horse, and uh, I'm very proud of her. After an impressive win in the Grade 1 South African filly sprint, Celtic C then went on to defy her critics. She won the Grade 1 Johnson Workwear Garden Province Stakes over the mile 400 metres further. But Celtic C's going on and won it. I refuse to listen that the filly wouldn't stay a mile. If you look at every one of her races over a mile, she's had something go wrong. Having beaten the likes of Sunmet winner O Susanna and Cape Phillies Guineas and Mallorca Stakes winner Snowdance, she took on the boys once again. Celtic Sea, Casimir won't throw in the towel. Casimir and Celtic Sea, they're going to hit the line. Casimir won it. Celtic Sea second. Palace she champ. all but won, going down half a length to her older and stronger male counterpart, Casimir. Having won two grade ones and being second in another against the Colts, Sean Terry's speed machine was awarded the Equus title of champion three-year-old filly for the 2018 and 19 season. While Samanga Komalo partnered Celtic Sea as a two-year-old, it was Lyle Hewitson who rode her to grade one success at three. Celtic Sea was the, the ultimate professional, um, to put it lightly. She just 
she was almost unassuming at home, you know, she, she gave you a nice feel, but um, just got through her paces and, and did everything um, in her own steam. But where you really felt um, the power of Celtic Sea was uh, in a race, you know, if you got it to just switch off, uh, whether it would be a thousand meters or a mile, if you had it switched off, the way she could quicken was always something that um, would be hard to match from any horse, and I think that's what made it so special. Um, and you know, just working with her was always a pleasure. She had a perfect demeanor. Um, she was just a, a lovely horse to ride, and I think that's what made um, riding her such a pleasure. And the fact that she was good was, was a bonus almost. Um, she was one of the most deserving horses to win those Group Ones that she did, and for me, definitely one of the best horses I've ridden in my career. Um, not just the best filly, but one of the best horses. It was back to Reinke's Fontaine to rest and prepare for a trip to the Western Cape and the summer season. In January 2020, she won the Grade 2 Cartier Scepter Stakes, beating Clouds Unfold. But the Cape sprinting sensation quickly returned the favour by beating her to the line in the Grade 1 Mallorca Stakes three weeks later. She then returned to Reinke's Fontaine to prepare for a second tilt at champion season in KZN. Celtic Sea had a majestic presence about it. At six wins on her, and I believe the group one sprint at Scottsville was truly sensational. In her first outing in the province on the 4th of July, she fought for her win in the Grade 1 South African Philly Sprint. All seemed lost 200 out when she fought on Gamely to catch Run Fox Run and sing for Rafa in the shadow of the post. It was arguably the most courageous win of her career. Well, Celtic C, she's brilliant. She's absolutely out of the top draw. You know, she only really found her legs inside the, the last 250. And, um, but she, the class that she is, she, she put her head down and she flew at the leaders and she deserves all the accolades. She's a, she's a proper filly and uh, I'm very proud of her. She showed, she showed what uh, champion status is all about. Celtic Sea recorded a double of wins in the Grade 1 South African Philly Sprint, but when trying to do the same in the Grade 1 Johnson Workwear Garden Province Stakes three weeks later, she went down a short head to Temple Graffin. With another double of wins not to be, the courageous and gutsy filly was nevertheless voted Equus Champion Old Philly or Mayor for the 2019 and 20 season. But a five-month break did the trick as she came out again at Kenilworth in December 2020 to win the Grade 2 Southern Cross Stakes. But Celtic Sea is setting out after her over towards the inside. Run, Fox, run, and Celtic Sea, this is the battle we've been waiting for. Celtic Sea, the inside, run, Fox, run. Down towards the inside, Celtic Sea powers home from run, Fox, run. Up she quickly outside. followed that up with a win in the Grade 2 Cartier Scepter Stakes four weeks later, making it a double of wins in the race. She's all class in the Scepter Stakes. Celtic Sea comes home to win it from Halloween to Hello. With a stud career beckoning in America, the Grade 1 Cape Flying Championship was to be her last race. Whilst a fairy tale ending would have been fitting for this wonderful mare, she didn't disgrace, finishing third in mixed company at the highest level. From Rio Karori, Celtic Sea, and then came bold respect. Celtic Sea's career spanned four seasons. She won 12 times and placed a further 11 from 27 starts. Eight of her wins came in graded races, with three of those being in grade ones. She not only raced alongside the best fillies and mares in the country, but the colts as well. She retires having amassed 3.3 million in stakes. She was bred by Wilco Bostrift and Mertz out of the Dam Island. I can be so proud of these wonderful mares. I know she'll do SA proud as a good mare in America. It is a privilege to ride her. I was truly blessed and I'll be watching her future endeavours closely. It was great to be part of Celtic's success. I 
I must give thanks to the Beck family, Sean Terry, and to his team, to Celtic Sea, as I farewell my queen. It's been a wonderful journey with a magnificent filly. It's very hard to say how often a filly um, can deliver in group ones consistently as her career goes on, but uh, she certainly has. Um, carry on Alice was pretty much the same. Uh, I have had a, a, a good few fillies that, that have delivered the goods on a consistent basis, but they are few and far between, and um, obviously they don't come along too often. We wish Anthony and Angela Beck of Gainsway Farm in Kentucky every success with this magnificent mare.